planet Mercury can kill you and make you ashes? It is no surprise to the astronomical industry that the universe is a vast, intriguing place to be and just straight up dangerous. Even though Mercury is the tiniest planet in our solar system, planet Mercury's heat poses a significant danger to anyone who ventures onto it. Not only that, but human health is also not for Mercury's toxic atmosphere and extreme levels of radiation coming from the sun. This video will be tackling how the planet Mercury can kill our kind of species, including the scientific reasons behind it. By comprehending Mercury as a planet, we can better understand the significance of exploring space and the need to protect human life as we discover more about that distant darkness we call space. What you need to know about planet Mercury's heat. Let's start with the fact that planet Mercury's heat is practically sunbathing every day. Being the closest planet to the sun and the absence of an atmosphere are reasons for Mercury's extreme temperature conditions. In the daytime, the temperature within the environment of Mercury can be as high as scorching 800 degrees Fahrenheit or 430 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt some metals. At night, when the planet rotates away from the significant ball of fire, the planet Mercury heat temperatures can drop to a spine-chilling temperature of negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 180 degrees Celsius. The reason for this dramatic temperature variation is that without an atmosphere, there is no insulation or protection from the sun's heat and energy. The big temperature changes during the different times of the day in Mercury is interesting. However, knowing the dangers these extreme temperatures can cause a human body is necessary. Exposure to the surface of planet Mercury heat without the right protection would lead to exhaustion and stroke due to heat and hypothermia, all of which can cause fatality. Even with the best protective gear such as spacesuits designed for spacewalks, the extreme temperatures would still make exploration of Mercury challenging and dangerous. Understanding and respecting the dangers of Mercury's extreme temperature conditions is crucial for future planetary exploration. Various gases, which may be natural to Earth or not, make the atmosphere of Mercury such as helium, sodium, and potassium. Mercury is significantly thin for a planet that has only about one out of a trillionth of Earth's atmospheric pressure. As a result, Mercury's atmosphere offered little to no protection from the harsh solar winds and charged particles that continuously pelt its surface. The mentioned particles have serious effects on the planet's surface, and it's no denying that they can cause detrimental damage to human life. The toxic gases in Mercury's atmosphere, sulfur included, can immensely harm human health. Planet Mercury Heat and Its Effect on Human Health A person would most likely get a fatal respiratory condition like pneumonia or bronchitis if they breathe hazardous air. On the other note, Earth's atmosphere has a protective atmosphere, which is absent in Mercury, that guards us against the harmful radiation coming from the Sun. If we look at the planets in the solar system in order, we would see that Mercury comes first, hence why it is prone to solar radiation. Solar radiation is composed of different lengths of energy, like ultraviolet rays and X-rays, all of which are harmful to one's health. These can enter our skin and harm our cells, resulting in genetic changes and a higher possibility of developing cancer. Sunburn and early skin aging can also be caused by exposure to UV rays, while X-rays can negatively impact our immune system and eyesight. Knowing the dangers of solar radiation and protecting our well-being from it is a must. The long-term effects of exposure to solar radiation are just, if not more, as dangerous as the immediate effects of exposure to the sun for too long. Studies have discovered that people whose jobs need longer exposure to the sun's UV rays, examples of jobs such as farming and constructing, are more likely to acquire skin cancers. Likewise, 
astronauts who worked in space for far too long, exposed to extreme levels of solar radiation, are more expected to have certain types of cancer such as leukemia and breast cancer. 3. Frequently Asked Questions Do you have any questions about planet Mercury heat? Here are some questions most people ask. Number 1. Is it safe for humans to travel to Mercury? Or is it just that dangerous for us not to go there? Safely exploring Mercury is challenging due to the planet's extreme conditions. It is advised to wear protective gear, but even with the most advanced equipment present, serious hazards can still happen. Number 2. How does the absence of atmosphere in Mercury weigh into its lethal environment? They have no livable atmosphere on the planet. It means no barrier that can protect Mercury from the solar radiation coming from the sun, which makes the planet very hot in the daytime and very cold at night. Number 3. What kind of protective gear are needed to explore Mercury safely? How effective will they protect humans from the planet's heat and icy conditions? Any wearables used to explore Mercury are a must to block UV rays and heat and to be able to breathe. The best option would be the spacesuits designed for spacewalks, but they need to be adjusted to the specific condition on the planet. It is important to note that wearing protective gear would not lower the effects of exposure to the planet's extreme conditions on human health. Wrapping up. To end this, the planet Mercury is not a good place where humans can be seen without appropriate protection. The significant temperature variations, the toxic particles in the atmosphere, and the extreme levels of solar radiation make Mercury an unlivable planet for humans. It is important to understand the risks of going to space, including the planets like Mercury, that could cause one's fatality. Nevertheless, space exploration will remain vital to human knowledge and technological advancement. Through exploring other heavenly bodies, we can acquire deep information about the universe we are in and the forces that form it. We also get to know more theories about how the universe started. This knowledge would allow us to develop advancements that can protect humans from the dangers of natural celestial objects and improve the standard of living on Earth. The use of astronomy and space technology is not just for the satisfaction of our curiosity or discovering new frontiers. It is also for the safety and well-being of the human species, both for the present and the future. So now that you know everything about Mercury, did it answer all your questions and curiosity about this planet? And that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something from our topic today. Before I forget, I would like to inform you that we run some charity campaigns. If you want to share your blessings, you can check on the link to see the purpose of this campaign. Send us a message if you have topics you want to discuss. We will do our best to have that topic in our next videos. And if you think this video has helped you a lot, you only have to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.